Sorry, I was setting up the prediction, or maybe Don did it right under my nose. I don't know. But otherwise, blue four attacking, op four defending will, or is it green four? I think it's green four defending, but either way, we'll get wow, into Barry. the operation soon. Where did you get those cool emotes from? If I hover over them, it <laughs> says it, lots Dream. of Liru. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, what a goober. Life's been a bit Nibiru. too crazy, been you hecka busy with emotes. job and uni graduation. Otherwise, you're doing well. Dude, that's great to hear that your life's um, going well. Did you just bite Nibiru. my hair? You have new emotes? Sorry, I was I was talking to an old friend. Bloodwing just bit my hair. What? And yes, I have new emotes. It's great. I'm trying are, to get people hi, to boo. sub to you. Are, are you okay? Why are you licking my face again? God what damn the it. Fuck? No. What? What? No, you're not licking my eyebrows again. We've been over this. You're not supposed to do that while I'm streaming. What's, what's going no. on? No. What's going on? No. Mom, Dad. Lord Apu, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Hope you enjoy the new emotes. Hope you get a nice oh, kick out of this. Stop licking my face. Please. You're not like the goats in the emotes. They get to use the new yes, they get to use the new emotes. Isn't that great? Please. God, I'm so have alone. mercy, Dream. Please help. She keeps licking my eyes. Oh! Why did you say have mercy, dream. I'm not licking your face. No. Okay. Can I, Boo? I need I'm to start so working, alone, please. <laughs> dream, stop I'm stating chat. that you're so alone. Chat, I'm so alone. Oh my God! Stop it! No stop licking my face! No one licks my face while dream. I'm streaming. Dream, <laughs> dream. You don't want people to no, lick your I'm face so while alone. you stream. Stop so it! Lovely. Shut up. <laughs> there is a tiny church. Tiny church is for only T3s, though. It's how I do. Anyway. <laughs> Probably wasn't allowed to say that on Twitch, but anyway. What did you say? No, don't worry about it. Okay. Love you, boo. Okay. Can stop licking my face. So sad. Oh my god. Lord, you're single and very happy. I'm single and not very happy. Oh, I'm not oh, stripping. Man, stripping. I'm not strip. I'm just. Get the. Naked get out of here. Man. I have to start work. Naked. Please okay, stop chat. screaming, Nick. Okay. Ah, that's my neck. Don't bite that. Okay, chat. If you, okay. if you feel bad, come Send over to this. Okay. We can be alone together. Lord Adler, thanks for the tier one sub. I hope you enjoy the new emotes. Hope you get a nice kick out of this stream. And I hope uh, you keep enjoying everything. For Thank you, 4K. Yes. Stop licking my. Oh, she went to the bathroom. Anyway, all right. Let's get started, Dream. All right. We got an assassination mission. It is Green 4 with their ground command forces. Why did you just run up and lick my shoulder? Go back! Stop it! <laughs> so what the bad. fuck? Okay, we have an assassination mission. It is Bazooka, Tolly, and Faltney as the platoon command crew, crew, crew and group combined in a word. They are basically the main targets for Blue Fort to eliminate, also the main HVIs for Green Fort to defend. We're gonna first cover the attackers, and the attackers have an M2 MRAP, an M2 truck, two transport trucks, and unarmed MRAP and an M240 MRAP. They also have a CH50. No, it's a CH47. Hey. Liru. Yeah. Why do you have an emote called uh, Lance Corporal Liru uh, Lewd? And why is apparently everyone spamming in your chat? Don't worry about the Lewd emote. Just get me drunk first. Use the hydrate function and we'll see what that does. But anyway, Hydrate. we also have the UH60. What? No, 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 no. We're not doing this again. No, 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 no. no. Oh. I'm so alone, but this is a good alone. Not that again. Get I'm out. Go I'm back upstairs, real, please. I need to deep. work. Oh, I'm, I'm DMing all her. over me. I'm DMing her. My God, shut up, Dream. You're not DMing her. All right, and we have a UH-60 with miniguns on the side. M134s with the holographic sights. Blue 4 is what appears to be an older... U.S. Desert Camo with M4 or M16A3 platforms. The targets do not have berets on their heads. They will still be announced when killed. Okay, so basically Blue 4 used to have for the first round when this was done last week, the HVIs had berets. They don't have that anymore, but they get an announcement when they're eliminated. So that's nice to see. But otherwise, so, your standard M4, M16A3 platform, your M249, your M240 Bravos, Ah, Recon has a 338 Lapua Marksman, actually dedicated sniper rifle, two suppressed uh, Mark 18s with 20 round 7.62 uh, for that team. And we saw some helicopter pilots with some MP7s. Going over the roster real quick. Uh, 
<laughs> They're saying it's all over me because of the fucking drowning. But anyway, Pablo, thanks so much for the four-month yeah. resub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. I'm just not going to say the W or the H word water, water, for the rest water, of the water, stream. Water, 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 Shut up, Dream. Water, 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 water. <laughs> Don't get me boarded, damn it. Water, 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 water. Okay, Fred is commanding. Tanaka is leading the X-Ray group. Tanaka uh, leading Coalition, who I would say is the third best community in FNF. He's also got Severe with him, who is the leader of Arma Finland, which is one of the biggest PvP communities out there. They run monthly operations, which are similar to MCO. I forget what they're called. Um, they're, I think they're just called AFI events, AFI. but that's where a lot of PvP happens, which is great. Uh, otherwise, we have Olaf, Leia, Nordic under Alpha 1, Navy, Spikey under Alpha 2. Uh, some really recognizable names here. Uh, Nemesis with Scandi, Recon, and TSB under Bravo 2. So that is where Scandi is going to be tonight. I would say the top community in FNF. I'm the top community in FNF. And then we have... Me. Wait a minute. We have Legal Action Guy, Fieri, Kane... Sideways, Matt, we have Papega Pirates, the second best community also I on this team. Top. So you're telling me the top community, the second Is best the... community, and the third best community are all on the same side. I'm... Oh. My. I... Hey. Well. I just want to say... Blue 4 Bias. <laughs> The SL Dream Cards Content Broadcast Association is the best community in FNF. I see. We, like, we don't even exist in there yet. We got Wheaton in best. one of the helicopters, Mountain in one of the other ones, two good pilots, uh, Sayak, Skipu, his group under Delta One. I I don't even need to cover the rest of Blue Four. I already know who everyone's going to fucking bet on. Uh, you want to go over Green Four? Because. I didn't say that. Wow. Go over Green Four. Oh, Greg, Greg Helicopter Association is my favorite one by far. Stop stealing my thing, Greg. Why are you not playing? <laughs> Fuck off. Homework. Next TSB op is Sunday. Not doing homework. Anyway. The yeah, uh, public um, op on Tanoa. Green 4. They have white camo. Good camo. Um, the Iranian desert <clears throat> camo, which what also serves as a winter camo, which I use from time to time. Look, man, I, I barely know BTRs. It's that is an 80 alpha. The 80, al 80 alpha. 80 um, alpha. They gave green 4 I'm, 80 I'm gonna, alpha. <laughs> I'm just going to call it a special <laughs> BTR. It's, it's rescripted re with the 14.5 KBPT. So Shut they, they up, don't have the auto up, cannon. Right. They have a 14.5. So why don't you just give them a regular BTR? Honestly, I had no, I was trying to get it working with a stabilizer script. Other other than that, there's no point in using the alpha version if you're going to Yeah, if you're just going to rescript the auto cannon away. Makes me sad. Almost as sad as Dream's losing his mind right now, doing God knows what. Anyway. I am waiting for you to shut the fuck up. Go ahead. I have shut anyway, the fuck yes. up. Green 4, just, I mean, beyond their camo, they have the typical loadout AK762 with PKPs and PKMs. Uh, obviously the AD Alpha with two Dushkum uh, gazes and a couple just... Uh, and then a UAZ, singular not gases. UAZ, shut the fuck up. A singular <laughs> UAZ transport. I, oh no, there's a couple more over there. There's just one sitting there alone for some reason. Two more hydrate. Uh, and that is it for their assets. In terms of players, they are being led by Bazooka, who I don't think I've ever seen led before. Oh, balls. Uh, with Tolly as his backup of Falenti. Uh, in Platoon 1 HQ is their <laughs> medic. X ray is uh, 4IB. Stark having the T5000. Uh, he had it He's last one of the really good players. It, so cringe. Wow. Uh, Alpha HQ led by Bedakovic. I got four kills with it. Cringe. Um, Norris uh, in Alpha 1 with Paul. With Trump, not, Bay. not Bay. And yeah, not Bay. Sven and Dog4. Oddball uh, um, taking Alpha 2 with so a lot of people I don't actually recognize. This is, uh, this is the new community that joined. I don't know if it's Ash mm -hmm. or the other one, uh, but there is a new community tonight. Jonathan, Mike, and Luso taking Bravo HQ with Connell, Killer, Stars, Martin Butler, Orpex, and Raven filling in Bravo 1. 1RW mostly taking up Bravo 2 with a couple uh, <laughs> try it, Willow. different guys just rid, uh, like sprinkled around there. Charlie HQ have all joined That's together, up to making point. up Ultra Lord, Astronaut, Jacob, Hedge, Shrimp Skynet, Miksu, Twins, and Vesto, and Delta HQ being the Zeus boys with Ash, Eric, Tackleberry, and Swallow. So I think uh, Green 4 have got this all the way. 
So let's actually break that down. So we've got another example of veteran communities versus veteran players. The veteran players being Stark, Norris, Bay. And when I say I veteran here, I mean like the best of the best, like I'd cream of the crop. I'd, be, I'd put 4IB up there. Oh, I no, I'd I, I agree. But I'm just talking, there, there's a reason why Scandi won Titans and they had to fight Papega. They lost to Papega and then were able to come back after the loser's bracket and then beat Papega in the final. Like, both of those teams, one-on-one, -on -one, have destroyed every other community, which is why I rate them in the best. And the Coalition, I rate... And destroyed me. me yeah. <laughs> I rate because they literally run massive multi community PVP operations, both in their own ground and they go to AFI a lot. So they themselves are really good. And I've seen them work on par against Scandi and Papega and be at their level. So that's why I rate them as the best because they are they work well within their own team dynamic. They're good at flanking, they're good at counterattacking, but that's why I want to put it in the context of this operation. When we saw the first assassinate mission, and we had Papega and Scandi on the defense, they didn't have a lot of room to maneuver, and Stark, who was commanding the attack, was basically able just to just completely encircle the entire force, give no room for any of those groups to do maneuvering, and just wipe them off the face of the oh, earth. Oh, yeah, I remember that. that so, very good it was a start. very good I need command. To ask, I need to ask, before you continue, mm -hmm. um, I just want to ask, because I forgot to ask this last week for some reason. In this situation, how are you playing? Him. So, obviously, the command is the... Um, so the command is the uh, the guys who they need to uh, mm -hmm. take out. They are the targets. How would you play it? Would you stick them together in a room like they did last time? Because um, they all got stuck in a building and were just rinsed by the helicopter mm -hmm. and then the, uh, the the encirclement from Blue Four. Or would you split them up in multiple different locations and possibly I would, keep them moving? I would completely split them up. I wouldn't keep them moving. I'd probably do one guy running on his own throughout the AO, just staying silent, so like to Falcon or someone else. But mm. the other two I'd probably assign to a squad and just have them at opposite ends of the AO, because if you put them all in one area, that's why it ended so quickly in the first round, because it was just a one and done. Granted, it was cool to have them in Osama Bin Laden's compound to defend, which was somewhere over here, I'll find it, but you really want to keep them spaced out for that specific reason of you don't want them all to be taken out, you know, all your eggs in one basket on a defense mission. Hmm. That sort of issue. Now, back to the context of what I was talking about, these three communities on defense, if they fight a good commander, are not going to shine too well because those commanders know how to take their advantages away because they all play the same way. Here's the compound. I found it. But... Send in goat on the offense that is where they're going to shine so i'm a little worried about green four here because granted they got some really good heavy hitters on defense you give not bay you give norris or stark the ability to get behind people do we um where's bay's friend what's his name uh dually i don't see dually on today though I would love to see one of Dooley's strategies where he pretends to go AFK for five minutes, lets an enemy squad garrison his position, and then he just goes to town on them, John well, Wick let's style. let's say pretend, because, okay, unfortunately everyone, as Lira likes to call, bit of a bad min move here. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't pretend to go AFK. Because in the long term, it's technically considered... Um, I can't remember what the... I've already forgotten the term. Wow, Dream I I, doesn't like Falcon for game-winning strategies, and now he doesn't like Dooley for game-winning strategies. Huh, yeah. what a bad um, man. Anyway. Excuse, uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, what, fucking, I've, I've actually forgotten the term. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I know the term. I'm just, you know, I'm just joking. Haha, <laughs> if someone could maybe accidentally tell me the term where someone leaves their squad and... You mean Lone Wolf? Own... Thank you, I knew it. Um, I know Dream is pretty cringe. <laughs> Uh, who said that? Someone in my chat. Anyway. Who said it? Give me names. So, uh, no, because you're going to be a bad man. Anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, Green 4, to, to play all this out, Green 4 with a few good players could get behind some of the assault waves and take them out, but they're fighting against groups that have a lot of room to maneuver coming in because Anaze has a lot of roaming hills and some buildings to go around in flanks. I'm leaning more towards the blue four side, having those 
veteran communities that are used to this style of warfare a bit over the Green 4 defensive group. Also in Anazay as a whole in this top left area, we've seen more often than not the attackers usually beat the defenders regardless of the game mode. But otherwise, it looks like Green 4 might try to keep everyone together, but they're also loading people in a UAZ. They might just have a VIP drive around in a UAZ. That's really <laughs> smart, in my opinion. But what we really need to see Green 4 do early on is listen for those helicopters and then try to run a gas... Excuse me, I made the same mistake you did. A UAZ Dishka under it and uh. intercept it before it can land. The previous mission was nighttime to represent the events of the Osama Bin Laden compound raid, but this is purely in the day. So, so with a turned up render distance, we should be able to see the Dishka do that. Go ahead. Something to point out is that, so last time they loaded two- Or hydrate. Uh, I think it was, did they have two, um, uh, just, uh Don. two Hue, it's not Hue. Thanks for a 23 month resub. I'm, I'm going insane. I think I'm losing my mind. And Dark Ranger, thanks for um, the 13 month resub. Or Black Hawk Hope you there keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of the scenario. They last time, didn't yep. they? So this uh, time they one... have a Black Hawk and a Chinny, and one mm -hmm. Chinny. So last time they loaded a bunch of people into both helicopters yes. and flew them low. This time they've, they haven't loaded the uh, Chinny at all, but they have loaded the, uh, the Black Hawk with X-Ray. Oh, they are flying. Oh, 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 I thought we were going to see a mid-air collision there. I would have laughed my ass off. All of the squads are making their way on foot rather mm -hmm. than uh, using their episode. vehicles more than likely. Yeah, so I'm expecting to see a, a bait play here with mm -hmm. the Chinny, and then the Black Hawk is gonna, you know, land somewhere and drop the uh, X ray squad. I, so, this one, they do have the land escort. They're going to take that in. That's going to extend the time of the AO, but Green 4 can probably predict that they're going to take the MSR in, and they might be able to rush out a defensive group, but it looks like instead they're going to take the big mosque area because there's a lot of good high-rise areas that can, they can use for Overwatch. Hmm. What does concern me, though, is that Green 4 is focusing on putting all of their forces on the southeastern side with nothing in any other direction. So if Blue 4 notices that, logically, they're going to know the VIPs can only stick to that one area. I think as an investment, Green 4 should move one of those VIPs to the opposite end and just literally have them hunker down somewhere. I think they're probably just going to play it as a evade uh, for as long as they can. But I think just 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 on a, a basis i think the the vips are at a disadvantage uh, mm -hmm. just overall because they're obviously set to an area um but what they can do is uh i think this mode works much better when it's night mm -hmm. um uh i don't think it works as well if mm -hmm. it's daytime and uh twins just got completely injured there by tolly because he decided to walk into him with the dushkum you know what i would recommend for this game mode though what? Because what's stopping a VIP from just driving out? Does, does Blue 4 always know where the VIPs are? Uh, no, but they're not allowed to exit the red circle. Right, but this is a massive circle, so what's stopping a VIP from just hiding in a bush somewhere? Nothing. So, what if at the 15-minute warning, you had those zones similar to what you have in the cash hunt up here, those little shaded zones around the VIP's position? Maybe not at the 15-minute, maybe at the 10-minute warning, Therefore, preventing any green for VIP from just camping out in some random spot for the rest of the AO. You know, give give Blue Four a push because this is meant to just be a defense. But if it just turns into a hide and seek game for a lot of people looking for one guy after everyone else in the group is wiped, that's not really fun, right? I yeah, I keep yeah, it at the 15 minute warning actually. I don't know. I I know what you mean, mm -hmm. but you know, it's it's one of those things that as soon as they. Like as soon as they show up on the map, doesn't matter what any blue four are doing, they're just gonna they're just gonna break contact and leave, and uh, all rush that one guy. But well, that's the point of so now. yeah, but that's because he's supposed to be defended by green four or the defending faction in this case. So if he's just hiding in a bush doing fuck all on the other side of the sector, away from the firefight, that kind of defeats the purpose of this AO, no? Because the defenders are supposed to be defending him. So it's to stop that metagame point, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know, I, I agree and I don't agree. 
it's like uh, I, I'm not entirely sure. Ah, um, so you are unable to make a proper opinion, which is why you're yes. a badman. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will. I, I will get Bloodwing to come and drown you again. Good luck. Good, I, I'll do it. Dirt, thanks so much for the tier one sub, my man. I hope you keep uh, enjoying so the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. I'm not entirely sure if Green Four have been convinced. They don't seem. They don't seem to be like moving anyone over there, but that um mini made a lot of noise to the uh west yep so they might think there's a squad over there but it seems they they maybe have got the uh 60 now flying overhead he's flying a bit slow chinook is probably going to do reconnaissance for the convoy coming to oh that uh 60 just took a lot of nasty hits engines down they're coming in too hard Wow. Greg, have we got that new script going? Let's, what uh, script? The, 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 the helicopter script. As far as I know, there should you be got a it, randomizer Blatz. now where you know, yes. there's a chance uh, so of how much damage is... it does or just instantly kills you or none at all. Yes. It's randomized. It's now randomized. So if you crash, you'll either die, take a bit of damage or not. It's all randomized. That's cool. Uh, but that was... I'm sure that, that, that was not good for not the have a IRL, bro. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Uh, but I think it's just to keep, like, keep fairness and let people get in the game. Hell, I'd, I'd actually love to have that script. That sounds great. Because, it, you know, Ace, when you crash, like, normally everyone survives. Is that applied to chopper crashes or, like, every vehicle? I think vehicles in general. Yeah, That's... yeah vehicles in general. C can I have I that script? <laughs> you're gonna have uh, skin to think... go. All right. DC still two targets. Valenti crushed out, meaning there's now only two targets left. Oof. That is uh, very unfortunate for Green Four. It's yeah, Anazay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to ask Nemesis, but I'm sure he'll give you that script. Mm. Tootie, thank you. It seems Wheaton took a lot of damage and Mello seemingly was fine, but that was way too slow. Yeah. Way too low to come in there. One of the dishkas just completely tore it apart, and that's the price you pay for going at that reduced speed. Granted, they were trying to just do some reconnaissance, but way too close. Who actually, uh, it was not Bay, it was Bay. Bay took Bay. Of course on, it was uh, Bay that took that out. He's on the, um, he's on the, uh, dushkum. The, not the stag one, the one on the, uh, mm -hmm. the UAZ. Not surprised. So, granted, the UH-60 was doing an orbital around the red zone itself. It didn't realize that everyone was concentrated on the southern side, which is why it was going at that speed. So that's just one of the risks you take when you do that level of reconnaissance. But interestingly enough, I'm not seeing any green four forces pushing out to try to engage whoever might have survived at that UH-60 crash. So we well, might see a play by the pilots here. Go ahead. We could, but, I mean, obviously, I'm not... Don't worry, I, I've seen what it Benny does. Joe, thanks for I'm the tier one sub, my man. Hope uh, keep enjoying the operations. Really Hope get nice kick out of the scenario. We've seen some big things with the MP7s. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but I don't think they're too worried. Drinking cider and then I'll switch to Corona. Open ground they need to traverse. No, fuck. No, 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 no. Shit, shit. She said I said the wrong word. No, no. I believe Independent is using a hunt IR to just get out the crashed helicopter and see if there's any survivors at it right now. Just west of the crashed helicopter, you can see the hunt IR floating in the air. That's pretty sick. Thanks, Boo. Thanks, Bloodwing. Shut up, Green. So whenever we say a word related to H2O, she waterboards me. Yeah, I know. I saw it. Green, stop messaging her on Discord. You're not helping. <laughs> Someone find a hunt IR in the heli. I don't think a hunt IR is going to do anything to a heli. Technically, it would be funny if it got caught on the rotor, and we just saw... Is it, is it a physical object? It is a physical object, but uh, we just saw the parachute get hit by Green Four members, and now it's quickly falling to the ground, because when you shoot the parachute, it actually falls quicker to simulate holes in the parachute, so it has less wind resistance and thus plummets to the ground quicker. Wasn't that their own hunt IR, though, independent? It was yes, their own was hunt IR. <laughs> Shh, we don't question it. Shh. So, Blue Four are... What the fuck are Blue Four doing? <laughs> what, they're all just sitting still? Hey, yo, what the Blue Four doing? What the Blue Four doing? Why, I think I they're guess... doing some reconnaissance so they can then figure one out one what's going on. I think Google Maps took them to the wrong place. They're trying to fix it. I think that's it. It's not the simple. That's when everyone no laughs. No. More Hydra, I'm you got funny. it. You're not. Hmm. 
Oh, the BTR is actually coming coming over to take care of uh, Hotel One. Uh, I think and they haven't really out. moved yet. No, they're they're sweeping it. We saw Hotel oh. One uh -oh. from the Hunt IR. Oh, uh oh, oh no. <laughs> Ooh, now oh, now the dude. recon team is firing at him. Oh no. Oh, he's just firing into it. Run, Mello. Wheaton's hiding behind the heli. What were the final numbers for the bats? Hello, second the upper roof, just running. Oh, he's, is he even shot? Oh, no, he hasn't. The gunner can't really hit him. Yeah, the but then. Yep, now there's the marksman team flanking. Mello has nowhere to go. He's crippled. Ooh, how did he live that? That was straight in the head. And, and there he goes. Wheaton is now just hiding behind the helicopter, probably for the best. This is a great flank by X-Ray, though. And now he's getting shot at. Yeah, he's, he's crippled as well. He's just behind the... 188,000 um, in the pool, nice. bump in the hill there, so he's Most on blue for, yeah, uh, I figured. Oh, the, the, the Literally, bit. like, two to one. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. He's playing dead. It's working. Oh. No, someone just saw him. Turn left. Turn left. We got Blue Four driving in now, though. <laughs> and he lived. Playing dead, man. It saves your life. What's so it called? Playing possum? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, so Brilliant. Blue Four have now just made their way in. It's the it's AA. We've got Finn, Leia, and Nordic. All uh, all people I have met in mm. a different community. You played with, with them the other day, didn't you, Leroy? The uh, yeah, time for uh, the away. Sunday stuff. Yes, I was away, and the only time that I don't play, you go and play with them. Mm. Now that BTR is coming up, it might assist because these blue four guys are coming up. Not sure if Bendel... No, okay, so green four, they know that this group has come up here. Look at how they're all going prone. They're all hiding around. You hear Bendel now firing. He's trying to drop Nordic Prophet. Isn't able to land the shot. Gets a few wounds, but nothing substantial. Yeah, but then you have Alpha 2 coming in the back. Adrian, Navy, Max, mm -hmm. and Spikey. Got some distant shots going. It's uh, on that Chinook. Oh, the pilot? No, okay. I thought he was going in for a crash, but he was just doing a dive. His tail rotor's out. Yeah, yeah he can repair, though. It'll have to be a risky land, though. All right, Tootie, after you're hydrate, let me know how many, uh, because I can't grab another one until we get a lull in the uh, game. The whole air fuel for it. Oh, so keep a number Delta. tab for me. And uh, X-Ray must have come in and just said, hey, mm -hmm. we're being attacked here. Ooh. Long range shot. That, for sure. that takes out the uh, BTR. Yeah, that's cook off. Scandy fucking recon. What am I tell you? Secondary shot going in just to make sure it blows up. Now that the Maz is at every squad, you don't have to worry about wasting rounds. Dryden trying to take out Navy, unable to land a killing blow on either group side. Spikey now trying to cover. I do believe that shot actually came from a car. Regular time, you got it, Don. I saw I that. Someone like, ran right up to Bendel, and no, Bendel just I dropped him. Just like hotel two. And Leia gets him. Uh, if everyone can draw their attention to Hotel 2. Where? Uh, Blue Four. Uh, Leyden and Mountain. Ah, they still crash landed because their tail was out and they were trying to land. That's why I told yep. you, landing is still risky when you have your tail out. You have to have a lot of space to do it. Cringe pilots, I think. Wow, you're just making fun of Mountain because he's better than you. You can actually land without fitting at all. Yeah, it's like I've, I've done those before. Leia <laughs> spotted the guys on the rooftop on X-Ray. Oh, but I think... Stark is yeah. now pinned. One of the blue for guy. Oh, no, no, it was a green for guy. Well, both Shout out, no, I mean after casualties. 2Ds because I've been drinking on the, yeah, the cash in. That's why I'm already out of a bottle. Uh, Navy's dead, and in ah, terms fuck, of blue four, they've had Bendel go down. And 
Captain Stark is dead. Oh, Leah. Oh, Leah doing what Leah does. Ah. Leah just dropped all. Leah's just got three kills. Well, two did, kills. Did Leah down. just drop all of them? Yeah, Leia just dropped all three. Fuck! Fucking bagged Stark. And Greenford didn't want to leave that position. They should have after they took shots. I don't know why they didn't maneuver, but that just cost them their marksman. I thought Greenford would be able to do a little bit more damage here, but cost-effective-wise, they've, I think, they've I lost think they, more than they've taken. I think they engaged too quickly, uh, the Greenford XO squad. Um... Because they had two guys move in on the set, like the, uh, and, and just close them in. Whew. But Smith is still alive. Smith. Alright, you don't have do to count him anymore. I got another bottle of hydration liquid. The last time Leia saw Smith, uh, he was downed, so she might. Hold up. Think... So Charlie One is advancing now under suppression, but Green Four actually isn't being too too accurate with those shots. Well, if you look, Charlie are actually under a ridge. Uh, Smith just got a great drop. Mega Pirates. Mega Pirates being as aggressive as they usually are. Yeah, leading the infantry push here. I'm still concerned about its uh, coalition x-ray for Blue Four on the back line searching the zone right now. They're going to quickly find that Green Four is only in that one area. Shut up, Sam. Nordic's also unconscious right now, and he's slowly bleeding out. I guess he didn't bandage after he was shot twice, and he might yeah, actually Nordic. die. Yeah, he's he's outside the thing. He must have just not healed. Mm -hmm. He's still holding the top. I think he's got, yeah, he's got that silent state. Uh, yeah, he's got the silent state. Okay, so he has an advantage here. Oh, he catches Spikey out, but he can't get the shots on. Spikey, Spikey has is... no idea where oh she's being God. shot Spikey. from. Spikey, if you get shot, you move. Spikey is crippled and confused. Oh and God, there's Spikey. the headshot. Oh, oh, and then flanked by Jib and Olaf. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Wheaton has managed to rejoin his comrades. Nordic woke back up. Oh, very good. Yep, they're double tapping up there. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the main fight here. So that was all Leia there. I just wanna say she really she took out two of them, including Stark. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Over the past few weeks, I've never seen Leia as really? a front runner, but she's been doing really well is, in the past two really weeks. Good. She's a really good player. I've mm -hmm. seen her. I've seen her play in obviously the Sunday ops you spoke about. Um, she's a very good player, a very good PVP player. Mm -hmm. And I know she will, uh, she will message me later about me complimenting her. <laughs> she has a really, really beefy PC. Ooh. Yes, like, she really... has like three 3090s. What? what? She has like two 3090s. Is it making a joke or like business? Okay then. Stuff like she, she makes pain, so she can afford it. Yeah, she's rich as fuck. Nice. Yeah. She actually, uh, she's gonna be buying a house in Japan actually. <laughs> Anyway, BTR-80 Alpha was able to take out one of the Papega Pirate members as they were crossing the street. That's going to keep them pinned. We need to now see the northern side of this Blue Four element come in and attack from the north. So King and Guy Fieri, as you would expect, Probably going to have to fight Barb runners. for it, because to my understanding, Leia is Barb's Splenda Mama. Position. The two HVTs here are just... Kind of anyway, driving. that's just side stuff. How's not Bay doing? Is not Bay still in the uh... Yeah, he's still in that UAZ, adding to the suppression. He's got a really good position on here, though. It's just he's not really being too accurate with those rounds and thus no, isn't able to land just, them. He's just trying to keep the heads down. Mm -hmm. It's all about the stalling, but I'm really worried because Blue Four X Ray. Is gonna get on the back line of this force and just start taking people out. It's coalition after all. Guys, I need more hydrates with boats. I'm thirsty. Yeah, 
There we go. Thank you, guys. This has been a very slow game, and will probably only continue to be slower. So, oh, yeah. It staying stationary and this x-ray actually this x-ray is sort of close now i gotta disagree with you i don't see it as a slow game it's actually been quite intensive it's just been a lot of longer ranged fights mm. and that's caused blue four to slow down a little bit on the maneuver but not to the usual degree we see because it's Papega pirates i would say the best community at maneuvering leading the charge here well you want to know something later i disagree with you because you're cringe that that offered no substance to uh -huh. counter my argument. Just like our 1v1 was useless. Be because you got rats. Anyway. <sighs> my worry here is how does Blue 4 now close the distance? Because the BTR is being masterful at coming in. Actually, fuck, we're seeing Guy Fieri take long range shots at Blue 4 X ray in the back. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't think he's trying to hit X-Ray. No, he he was either shooting at the BTR AD yeah, Alpha or he was shooting at yeah. over it, right? But he, he wouldn't shoot at a BTR. He's one of the really good players sure here. Sure I, am I am positive. I am not. <laughs> I'm not saying that's because he's a bad player. I think he's just trying to hit the sights. That could be it, too. I think the sights are a bit bigger on this one. It's uh, good, Tootie. Thanks for asking about that BTR. specific type of heater. I don't know why you would ask you about that one. Side? Shut the fuck up. Could you explain? I'm confused. Shut up. Therefore, you are incorrect. Nope. All right, 20 minutes have passed. Blue 4 is actually pretty close to the VIPs. They just have to close the distance, but Green 4 has got a pretty good spacious defense on the northern and southern side. I'm just worried about how Blue 4 X-Ray is going to come in. Because Green 4 doesn't have that much in terms of rear security. They have this big fortified area where Tackleberry, Ash, and Eric are, but not really anything of substance to go with it. A lot of bandages up here. Jeez. Did Charlie want to have an EAT? They should have. Well. It wasn't on him. I've not seen any AT on the back one. Oh, so that was their squad That's leader, funny enough. It's on Matt, who looks like only has a single shot disposable, and Roast, who might have already burned it. Yeah. So they don't have any reloadable AT. Oof. Shut up, Tootie. Kyle, thanks for the hydrate. Well, this uh, Bravo 2 group putting down really nice fire on them now halted um, their entire approach. But if you look to the northeast, you'll see a certain group making their maneuver and they will be pushing straight into a completely unguarded, empty part of the town. And then we have two squads that have gone to the north that'll also probably come from that angle. Now, if Green 4 can hold fast and blue four attacks without those other two groups ready to go they could just defeat them in detail and then turn around and wipe the remaining attack groups so blue four really has to time this properly but that also means alpha needs to be a lot quicker on the maneuver indeed so we just had another papega member go down who was that uh money K Kier was the oh, first to go down. It was on the squad lead, and the helicopters are still down. Funny enough, also Wheaton has joined up with Bravo. Yeah. And he's moving around that flank. But Green Fort Bravo's done a really good job. They've uh, moved a group down, and Schneider is now suppressing. He is wounded, though. I see a bit of blood. And that's going to slow down Blue Four's attack here, which is actually good because that gives the northern groups of Blue Four more time to maneuver. And now you're hearing X Ray starting to shoot. Oh, on the go. rear, it is it, I think it's Sphere. No, Sphere they got a uh, Butler uh, a few hits. AWP has also been hit a few times. Just got hit again in the back. With Emberjack, who is the sniper for them, he has no kills. Martin just got hit and he's crippled walking in. Now the BTR is actually pushing over to that far green four force that's maneuvering to try to flank this blue four attack. 
Bravo for Blue 4 has also smoked their advance to the north, and that's caught the eyes of Alpha for Green 4. Now they're starting to fire rounds of AG into that area. I'm going to fight a flare to keep running out of AG. Mm -hmm. I tap or sparkling? Or Funny. Usually tap, Sam. Holes Thanks in for their asking. Defense and how many open gaps they, they have because you can sort of see them all <laughs> turning and rushing mm -hmm. to uh, fill them in. They're not, they're, they're putting up a pretty good defense right now. But as these, the larger groups start to pour in, I think you will start seeing the breakdown of um, their squads. I think Green Force is about to get overwhelmed. We still have 20 minutes yeah. in this round. I, and not even 25 minutes left. I think it's going to be too much. Indeed. We either need to see Green 4 make a really good play with one of their assets, like the BTR wiping a squad, or a machine gunner wiping an entire attack wave. That's the only reprieve I see. But we also Ooh. have an M2 coming up. No, it's a 240. Oh, so it's not going to actually be able to do anything. Yeah, do anything to the BTR. The BTR will be able to smoke it because its cannon is rescripted to a 14.5 KPV. So the closest you, one of AT is obviously Matt, but he's not... Oh, he's, he's actually got the launcher out. I think he's just trying to get a location on get it. Get an angle or something. I think he's mistaken for the Vic. I hope he's not about to fire at his friendly Vic. I'd hope not. He's, he's pointing in that direction. Sideways just got knocked out because he's leading a three-man maneuver team. RPG going out. Wounds the other two guys. That BTR has flux factored in. He was given the R uh, excuse me, M72. Fires. Direct hit. Uh, but it's Kills the gunner. Literally barely did nothing except kill the gunner. It also disabled the gun because the gun went down after the hit. So that BTR is going to be out of action until it can be repaired. I am surprised the driver is still alive. His shield is open. That is very cool. He's a oh, guy. hold up. We got Guy Fieri running up to a group of four green four. Takes out Firefly. Quickly puts his head down. We have another two uh, legal action and King about to make their way into a compound full of green four. Yeah. Who are being engaged. Oh, Arpex just took down one of the walls uh, because he got shot by the X-Ray. Now we're going to see these communities area. that are really high rated do their best work in here these tight go. corners versus a lot of enemy forces here. Now this is where Pega Pirates will shine. Mm -hmm. The first person he's going to come into is Jonathan Butler. Wow, Butler gets the kill there. Legal action caught reloading and he gets knocked out. Okay, we cast a curse. Wow, them. we did cast or curse them. Whoops. Jesus Christ, he got thrown. Whoops. <laughs> whoops. Big whoops. What happened? But even so, that is completely. Legal action oh, wakes up God. immediately, throws a satchel! Oh no! Oh no! It doesn't get anyone though! Oh! No Marty Drum! Beautiful plan. It was a beautiful plan. That was bro. a great plan. He, has, he would have been mashing that key. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm surprised it didn't take anyone out. The building just had enough to stop it from pushing the shockwave by. Meanwhile, Guy Fieri still on only one kill. Looks like the rest, the other two green four guys pulled back and medic. But Ooh, now Blue Force Northern attack is closing. Bro, I've been caught out in a field. Not much cover, but it is Scandi Recon, so they will react to like, everyone shooting. Volume of fire. Ooh, Nemesis the Boomer taken out. Dog Fork gets a really nice shot, but he's crippled, so hopefully no one else walks along. He Set up a line here, does here. a quick reload. Reaper might have spotted him. No, he hasn't. No, because at, on their POV, the wall's in the way. Is it? Oh yeah, because it's in the floor, isn't it? Yep. And he manages to roll away. Throws a grenade to cover himself. Blue 4 slowly tightening this news. Green 4, oh. as if they can keep repelling. Oh! Wow. Shit. Random nade into, it, uh, into the compound and got Dog 4 straight out. 
It's a Greenfall little worrisome. Really, Greenfall have really nicely like stinted all attacks coming at them right now, but now that you can see, yeah, it's, like I said, you can now start seeing the holes in their defense. Mm. As uh, I, I think Greenfall is just going to get overwhelmed here at this rate. Yeah. BTR is still trying thing. to pull back. It's taking 240 fire. That's not going to do much about it. He's actually got someone on the back, so it might do something about it. <laughs> Who's he got on the back? Steve, oh, what the fuck? Thanks for the seven month resub. I think that was meant to be a comment based off of the submissive and breedable on trend. Squad on the back. But submissive is a, is a synonym he's to now, obedient. He's now working as a taxi driver. But uh, whatever, I'll, I'll drink to that. Thanks for the seven month resub. Hope you enjoy the new emotes. I don't really know what else to say to that. Oh, and a regular hydrate, you got it. Here's Yanni, Yanni coming around. Yeah. He might hit Paul. Severe also running into this compound. Infidel's about to move into the building. Chult is in after he heard him shoot. And a regular hydrate. No, uh, funny hydrate. Oh. RPG spray and Norris. It's a Maz round from one of the blue four guys. Paul saw Severe run into the building and didn't realize if it was an enemy, but he's now going to run into Oh, and Paul gets Severe. Will the grenade get him? Yes, it does! Good knockout. Getting a friendly fire there. Ooh, but they got Norris in here, and Norris has a PKP. Oh, no, a PKM. Fired, but managed, but just the, the, the extra guy. He might wake back up, though. Paul wakes back up. Norris needs another 20 seconds to potentially wake up. Paul, I hope he covers the door. Paul is AFK. And he almost does a turn drop. Uh, Norris still down on the stairs. Probably about to be killed here once they realize they can't get past him. Oh, and is Infidel going to realize? He Norris! Norris! No! Oh my god. Triple execution. Yeah, now that's. It's, that it's a triple Lee Clinton. Oh god. That's three, sh taken three different Shut shooters up. to the back of the head. That's not completely taken down. It's now oh my God. And and Eric uh, sitting in one compound and the rest of the squad sitting in the other. Jonathan manages. Oh, no, he didn't. I thought Jonathan managed to repair the gun, but he's just sitting in it now. Ah, he's now more metal Tanaka. than machine. Tanaka and Emberdeck climbing up the ladder. They're going to breach one of the VIP's go. positions. He's going to he's going to see tackle here. Eric, though. Eric takes Tanaka at the last second, Ember Dak. Tanaka climbs back down. Ooh, RPG goes in. I think they were aiming for the BTR that's now dismounted. Nate's going off. I think Tackle was just killed by a friendly grenade. There goes the BTR. If Tolly keeps throwing grenades, he will, take, he will take this building down. He runs out, but Tolly might actually just end up running straight into an enemy here. Oh, but M uh, pulls back. Oh, Satchel oh. going off. Wait, that was probably... Oh, Tolly! Runs out the back, but there's so much smoke. Tolly's just making a break for it now. And Borak still tunnel vision because he has no idea that Tolly flew back there. Good play on Tolly. But now he's got no protection. But then again, he only had two guys protecting him. So Blue Four still a little halted on the northern push. Southern push also hasn't made that much room, but there's still a lot of open ground across. If Green Four can continue to hold like this, they might actually have a chance. There is a small Greenfield squad on the southeastern side. Oh, Emberok might notice Tolly! Tolly getting taken out by Guy Fieri! Oh, Tolly down is one left. Fieri also it's killing Emberok because Emberok oh. was right there, and there goes Blue Force Marksman. Oh, go. no! Guy Fieri, it doesn't matter whose side you're on, he will send you to Flavortown. So you better be prepared. Give it. It is now. And he taketh away. Fieri. Way in. 
We've got Schult over here. He's being suppressed. We have Koak on his own in a compound here, being breached by Flux and Fred. There's another Green 4 guy that was killed off here. Flux is doing a reload on his 249. Ooh, Koak folds back. Fred might have spotted him. Flux doing the double tap on that body. Koak running out. Skipu's gonna run in with a Maz. Koak puts some shots down range. Koak now throwing a grenade on the other side. Throws bounce. grenade right there. Great oh, bounce. Psyak and Vince running in. Vince getting immediately taken out. Koak uh, knocking out Psyak. Doesn't look around in time. Yuri's gonna get him, and there's the drop. But great last stand by Koak there. Yuri needs to get the double tap if he realizes. There it is. Uh, and Skeep wakes back up, so denied at two kills. I, I got to admit, Green Force Did actually doing their best to hold the fort down. Like, they're doing a great job. 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, definitely they better are. than the last round. But now they're just slowly and slowly picking away their force on the side. They're playing a bit like the Russians right now. And just yeah. Ever so slowly. If you actually look, that small Green Force group uh, have actually moved up now. And they, they have. Oh, played. shit! But will they get flanked by the guy carrying that body? Is he gonna realize? What's he doing? I think he's gonna drop the body. Oh no. No, they got Green 4 now pulling back after they suppressed. No. Come on, <laughs> he's he's just carrying the body. <laughs> he doesn't get it paid enough and he immediately runs away. <laughs> no man left behind. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Now he's just... Is he gonna follow? He's gonna follow them with the body! He's taking them on an adventure. What? No man left behind. He's, he's yeah, protecting but... his food so he can get back to his cave and eat. Oh my god, we'll check on that later. Blue Force Northern attack, meanwhile, starting to enclose on the final HVI position. Oh, that's a fire grenade that was just thrown. Yep. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, they are really useful and work all the time. Have they actually killed anyone yet? I think they've killed one guy. While he was unconscious. Yeah, yeah while he was unconscious. touch, like the grenade has to touch the You person. have to literally sit on top of it. <laughs> for it to do it's for like denying a stairwell. Yeah, denying a stairwell, and it does do damage to buildings and vehicles over Ooh. time. Uh, but that is, is any, basically it. Like, the caught on fire Guy effect? Fury was just sent no. to Flavor Town by Eric. No, but I would love to take the caught on fire effect. Where is the man hanging around? And Flux there? also getting sent to Flavor Town. Ooh, a charge was thrown on Ash's building. Uh. Hi, Ash. Ash is in his inventory. He didn't notice. And now he's going prone. He's finally noticed. Ash is a Chad. Ooh, Blackbeard tried to run up to do something to the 240 Vic, but was uh, shot and knocked unconscious. Probably good is not leaving anyone behind. No! No! He's being he's shot at right now. Why are you healing? He's bandaging in the open and he's knocked out. Well, he tried. You have three guys on the back. You have Blackbeard sitting right on front of Eric finally gets taken out by Kabaya and Lolo. Is he gonna run over? Oh no, he's not. Okay. Yeah, but he doesn't see him. Those things have really what? like shit vision. Waffles people oh, had black smoke dear, just oh, for dear. a second and then it went away. It might have just been engine smoke because yeah. Ace is a little wonky with that. Green four down to their last stand. Twelve minutes remaining. A lot of forces around. Yeah, Teamek is the closest right now. AT going in. This, this rare group of uh, Blackbeard, uh, Killer, and Fluss McGruffs have, have been really effective. I, I gotta okay. point out though, like, Blue Force Southern Attack has all but died down. It's just the Northern Attack coming in, but they have such a high number. Uh, Martin just got knocked out by three grenades. Guys, because there was so much shooting, they didn't realize. Oh. Match point for Blue for his Reaper now breaches in, Bazooka right behind him. Wow, and he knocks him out with the 240 to the face. Wait, Bazooka's down. Yeah, he's unconscious. He has to be killed off, though. Oh, here comes 
Sadly for the Zuka, they don't have a uh, beret as they were supposed to. Yep. Oh, oh Yanni. Yanni didn't see that switch in the body, but Zuka wakes back up. He immediately shuts the door. Lolo on the corner gets taken out by Bazooka, but then he gets taken out by Azurai, and it's GG Blue 4. Green 4 put up like a really valiant defense there. But... No, Green 4 did a great job. If you notice, Blue 4's entire southern attack doesn't exist anymore. They just got overwhelmed from the north because they were just spread too thin. Now, I think if Green 4 spaced out their HVIs more than a few hundred meters apart, actually, to a few hundred meters apart, it was only within 100 meters. Thank you.